Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. We have Anderson windows in our house. They're the swing out kind. It has one wide pane in the center and then two swing outs, one on either side. When we had our house over in Union City, the upstairs had stained glass windows in the three front windows. So it looked really nice. Downstairs didn't have any stained glass. So when Lydia was in Marshall, she found a piece of stained glass that just fit into the window frame. To make the stained glass sit in the window, I set it on the window frame itself and then used uh, mirror clips to hold the glass in place. Now we did the same thing in the living room, but we decided that the living room really wasn't the best spot for it because the living room is in the shade. You really can't see the colors coming through the stained glass. So when I had to replace the glass in the Anderson window in the living room, I took the stained glass down and then Lydia went looking for another place to put it. This area out here, we see the garden, which is down low, and we don't look across the street at the pine trees very often, so we thought this would be a better place for it. So we're going to move it over here where we can sit at the table and look underneath it, and then we'll be able to see the yard, and we'll be able to see all the things we want to see, and we'll still have the, the pretty colors of the stained glass coming through in the morning when the sun shines through this window. Now I've already marked I've already marked the frame where I'm going to put the bottom two clips. They're going to go right here, centered on that window frame. This is a half inch thick piece of wood that is nailed to the front of the Anderson window to cover a gap between the three sections because these are actually made in three different pieces. You can have a different width center section depending on the width of the area that you want to put the window into. Now these Anderson windows are no longer being made but the idea was you could make this center piece wide or narrow and assemble the pieces at the factory and then ship it out as an assembly. The trim pieces are something that came with the, that are put in after the window is installed. That is something that the carpenter, the finished carpenter will do after it's installed in the house. Anderson just made the main frame and slotted the three window pieces into it. But anyways, I, this half inch piece is solid wood so I can put a screw in there and not have any worries about splitting it. Central air is running in the room, but I've been out in the garage working on a project, build up a little bit of steam. One of the things that I really like about this impact driver is despite all opinions to the contrary, you can run a drill bit with it. You have to be careful. You can't just flail away with it, but you can definitely run a drill bit with it. And with a quick chuck, 
It's easy to do. What I'm using is called a quarter inch mirror holder. And this is a plastic piece that has an L shape to it. The L hooks over the side of the glass. The quarter inch cap is just wide enough to grip the edge of the stained glass without crushing it and hold it securely. Now I bought these at Walmart and they aren't very expensive. I didn't even keep the slip because I wasn't worried about it. Drilling a pilot hole means I don't strip out the screw trying to drive the screw in. Power drivers have a tendency to spin out on the Phillips head. Because Phillips heads were invented to not over tighten. Phillips head screws are, were designed to strip out before they over tighten. They don't snap off. But they will strip out. You can still remove them because if you're careful, there's still enough left of the head to grab a hold of it and reverse it, but it won't go in any further. The, the Phillips head strips out. Okay. There, despite a couple of mishaps and one near tragedy, we've managed to put the window in. Don't work alone. We have the stained glass up, the mirror clips are working just fine, and this job is done. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. And that's another honeydew list done.